What is my preconception age? I'm Dr. Andrew Carey. I'm a fertility specialist and obstetrician at Queensland Fertility Group based here on the Gold Coast. Women in their late 20s and early 30s are probably reaching the maximum of their time of fertilization or fertility, or the medical term for that is fecundity. Now, what that really means is the chance of achieving a pregnancy when aiming to do so each monthly cycle. At some point in their 30s, there will be a drop off in that fertility chance per monthly cycle. And certainly by the mid 30s, that chance is really starting to drop. And then in the late 30s and 40s, it's dropping quite substantially. So what this means is that women in their earlier years, in their earlier reproductive years, if the circumstances are right, are hopefully starting to plan when or if they might achieve a pregnancy. And when that plan is there in front of them, what they'll do is preconception, they hopefully will get their body and their health in as good a condition as they can possibly be. That means improving lifestyle factors. That means decreasing certain consumptions, such as cigarette consumption, alcohol consumption, eating well, avoiding illicit drugs and uh, marijuana, and um, being as healthy as you can in terms of an exercise program or some sort of physical activity. And we hope that being as fit and healthy as possible is going to reflect in their fertility chances as well. It would be very sensible for them to make an appointment with their doctor, whether that's a GP or a fertility specialist, even to discuss what sort of preconception testings they might have. And that may be as simple as checking their rubella and varicella or chickenpox immunities, because immunity to those conditions is important in pregnancy. It may also be to check that they're on an adequate diet and taking supplements such as preconception folic acid or other multivitamins. And it certainly will be to look out for any medical conditions and to see whether their ongoing medical um, conditions such as if somebody is a diabetic or somebody has thyroid disease or somebody has epilepsy or somebody has hypertension is best controlled. It's particularly important in those medical conditions because their medical therapies can sometimes be adjusted or changed to suit the type of medications and treatments they need for when they are pregnant. As women start to consider their preconception, there's a big unknown as to where their ovary function is and whether they do have enough what we call eggs in reserve. Do they have um, ovaries that are, that are number one functioning correctly and that do have a good number of eggs for the future for them to achieve pregnancy? It's very common that our women in their early 30s or even mid 30s are coming to us asking for an egg reserve test. Frequently, we arrange a blood test referred to as an anti-malarian hormone or in brackets AMH. And the AMH is a simple blood test which gives us some good guidelines and some good idea of where a person will sit on the fertility schedule of um, egg reserve related to their age. Various graphs that we can um, analyze to see where uh, somebody's AMH level is in relation to their age. And as long as it is somewhere close to the average, either side of what we refer to as the quartiles, that is a good sign of egg reserve. There are some other tests that can also be added 
Um, the measurement of FSH in the early part of a cycle can give some indication of um, whether the ovaries are responding to the appropriate hormones. And there is also an ultrasound called an antral follicle count or AFC that can also add to this picture. Once we have somebody um, who has low egg reserve, we can help guide them to what sort of fertility um, prospects they have and what sort of treatments they might want to embark on earlier in the piece, rather than finding out too late that they have run out of egg reserve. They're some of the important things that a lot of women in their early reproductive years are thinking about preconception. They're thinking about being healthy. They're trying to maximize their well-being. They're trying to maximize their um, um, environmental effects. They're trying to um, look after their general medical conditions and having good medication. But then they're also checking on those simple tests that can be done. For example, the rubella, the varicella, the AMH. They can then be planning their pregnancies at an appropriate time. And they can also know when they may need to seek the advice and the management of a fertility specialist should that be needed. I hope this discussion about preconception care and preconception age has been useful for you. And we look forward to you subscribing to Fertile Minds for further discussions. Goodbye, I hope you have a good day.